this God has a kingdom. Everyone say the kingdom. Everyone say kingdom. kingdom. What does it mean? The kingdom of God is made up of heaven and earth. Everyone say heaven and earth. How many of you want to go to heaven? Put that, put that, put that. How many of you are planning seriously to go to heaven? Put that to us on your head. Say with me, oh God. Oh God. Even though I am your child, I don't understand you, I don't understand and, you. Your and your kingdom. Please help my poor understanding. Please help my poor understanding. Everybody sit down. Now, why I want to let us know this is we want to understand God. The will of God is that his kingdom will come. Man was not created to go to heaven. Say, mm -hmm. Do you want to hear? Yes, sir. Now write it down. Heaven is not a place to go. <laughs> Let it be one of the greatest revelations we hear this year from a kingdom ambassador. Somebody say ambassador. ambassador. That they call me amb a kingdom ambassador is not just a title or a nickname. No. You have to know the truth. Do you want to know the truth? Yes, yes sir. All right. Heaven is not a place to go, and I will explain. Then never he will explain. Adam and Eve, were they created to die? You know that wisdom chapter 1, chapter 2 tells us that death comes as a result of the devil's end. That man was created to live forever. Question number 2. Adam and Eve, were they put in heaven when they were created or on earth? Question number 3. Did Adam ever go to heaven? We don't know. The Bible said it was God who was coming to meet with man in the paradise, which is on earth. Okay. Did any of you go to catechism? Yes. Who made you? God. Why did God make you? Wait. One person come out. Two people come out. Three more people come out quickly. If you know this catechism, come and answer it for us. <laughs> Who knows this catechism? I say one person come out. Yes, two people, two more people come out. Two more people come out quickly. Now, who knows this catechism? Answer it for us one by one. Yes, three, two more people come out. Sister, stay. Like, uh, we are not seeing see this. Hey, come now. You know the catechism? <laughs> no, he's answering the catechism. Sister, stay here. Uh, please stay. Everybody, listen to brother. Brother, where's that man? Why did God make you? God made me to know him. Number one, to know. Uh huh. God made me to know no. him. Uh huh. No, no, continue, continue. To love him. Uh huh. And to serve him. Okay, okay say it fast, say it fast. God made me to know him, mm -hmm. to love him, mm -hmm. and to serve him in this world, and to be happy with him forever in this world. Did you hear that? God made me to know him, to love him. To serve him in this world and to be happy with him in the next. Everybody listen. They never listen. To. Listen. To. The, the church we belong to from beginning teaches you why you are made. For those of you who went to school, you know this is called the purpose of creation. The first purpose is to know. That's why what I'm doing for you now, you may not value it. I'm telling you what I'm doing, what I'm doing for you is why God made you to know. I'm trying to help you know God. Because our topic is who is God, isn't it? Yes. God made the primary reason God made man is to know. The second reason is what? Love. These are these are topics I cannot expand now. You cannot love somebody, don't you? Mm. So it's the more you know God, that's the more you can know. The third reason why God made you is to serve God. Where? On this earth. On this earth. And to be happy with you, where? In the next world. In Hebrew, Chuku Kerem. Kamaraya. God made me to know him, to love him, to serve him in this world, and to live with him in happiness forever in the next world. That's what we are taught in Catechism. There's no mention of heaven in why God made you. Or is there any mention? No. Because you don't know Catechism. Praise God. 
Today it was Sunday, it's Sunday, isn't it? Yes. If you have attended Mass in the Credo, the last article of Creed is what? I believe. Yes. I look forward yes. to the resurrection of the dead and what? And what? What to come? Not I look forward to going to heaven. Though. Which part of the church doctrine taught you you are going to heaven? None. Everyone say none. No. If you know anyone, come. Show me one, I'll show you four that says it's not so. There is none. Where did he come from? I'll tell you where it came from. I'm around. Hello? Hi. Are we together? Yes, sir. You want to know God? Yes, sir. Very good. Praise God. Hallelujah. When the church taught you why God made you, there was no mention of going to heaven. And every Sunday, the church helps you to remember it. That you are looking forward to the resurrection of the dead, that means after death, and the life of the world to come. To come. And still you pray, our Father, thy kingdom come. come. Praise God. Now, the Catechism of the Church, number 326, says, The earth is the world of men, but heaven belongs to God. I say Catechism of the Church, number 326. So you can go and read it. Psalm 115, verse 16. Anybody there? What did he say? Psalm 116. 115, verse 16. Somebody read it. We want to know God. We want to know God. Oh, okay. Amen. 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 Psalm 115, verse 16. Heaven belongs, Heaven belongs to the Lord alone. Uh -huh. But he gave the earth to man. Wait, wait. Everybody close your Bible and listen. Brother, please read it again gently. Heaven belongs to the lord alone but he gave the earth to man everybody breathe in breathe in breathe in breathe out <laughs> breathe in breathe in breathe in some one one five someone say revelation go and say there's no teaching of the church that you will find that the man is created to go to hell none everyone say none no i did ecclesi ecclesiology so i know what i'm talking about Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, let me help you. Someone say, help us. Help us, brother. Help us. Heaven is not a place to go, but heaven is a place to be. Why? Because heaven comes to man. I I, I repeat. Someone say, repete, repete. 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 Heaven is not a place to go. But heaven is the place to be because heaven comes to man. Heaven comes to earth. Okay, where is God? God is heaven. That's that is number one. God is heaven. True. Where is God again? God is everywhere. So is God in here? Yes. And is God in heaven? Yes. Means heaven is here. Is God in your heart? Yes. Heaven is in your heart. Yes. That's why Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 says we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Because God is in your house. So heaven is in your house. God is in my house. Heaven is in my house. Heaven is everywhere. Heaven is the kingdom of God. Both the headquarter and the branch office. <laughs> yes, and yes, they all belong to the same businessman. Yes, yes. yes. I run the same man <laughs> Hello? Hi. Finally, Hi. Revelation 21. I will not read because of time. He said, I saw the new heavens and the new earth. Do we what? Coming down out of heaven. So why do you say we are going? Everything, both Bible and church. Is, I wanted to tell the origin of going, but my time is off. So it's actually going, I say we should go into prayer. Another day. Another day. Praise God. I saw the new heaven and the new earth doing what? Coming down. If he's coming down and you are going, then who is he coming down? Do you know why it is coming down? Because when he comes down, that is heaven coming down. When he comes down and you enter, you are in heaven. But heaven on earth. Do you understand it now? Yes. Sir. You are to be in heaven, but not to go to heaven. Because heaven comes to you and opens to you, you enter. And not only to enter, anybody who is baptized, the day you are baptized is the day you enter heaven. But that one is the actualization. 
Stand up, everybody. Stand up. Everybody. Somebody say revelation. Somebody say revelation. Somebody shout fire. Somebody fear in fire. Somebody fear in fire. And you sing it. Behold among men the dwelling place of God. Not, wait, not behold among God. The dwelling place of man is God that is a calling. Oh, <laughs> I'll say this one. Now, the difference between Christianity and the religion is what I've just explained. Everybody listen. Hey, everybody listen. listen. Number one, Christianity is not a religion. It's not one of the religions. The Christianity is the kingdom of God on earth. Number two, Christianity is the opposite of religion. Religion is about man going up. Christianity is about God coming down. And that is the opposite. So anybody who is thinking of going up does not have a Christian mindset. He's having a religion mindset. Religion, religion pushes man's face up. The religion is about man going to meet God. Christianity is about God coming to meet man. It's a pity that God has come to meet man, yet man prefers to travel, to go to suffer. My prayer did not pass ceiling. What is your prayer looking for ceiling when God is here? <laughs> because you, you are, we are praying to God who is very far. Why? Oh, that name of God is here. God is here. God is here. Behold among men, the dwelling place of God, we shall be his people. And he shall be my Lord and God. The choir sings it for us every time. Yet, even as I see your mind, you see it around God. Somebody shout fire! Fire! Shout fire! Go and touch 15 people. Tell them that God is here. 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 